Okie dokie. Time for crossing the metal ministry to happen today. Okay, where is all the prophets? If there is prophets today, and there is, where are they? Uh, you're looking at one. Okay. Okay, so where is the rest? And the Bible says that there will be false prophets in the last days. And there will be uh, probably a lot more of the false ones ready to stand up and say I am a prophet than there is um, people who are really prophets. So where are the prophets? Well, the, the real prophets being honest at heart isn't willing to just stand up um, and um, make themselves look bad and the and the false prophets don't care I mean they're dishonest they don't care what people think so they're just going to stand up and say this whatever they you know feel like saying okay but does the Bible say that there is prophets now I've been over this before I have a couple different videos on about it but <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 4 uh, verse 11 starts out um, the, apostle, the writer is Apostle Paul giving Chuck instructions for the church of the of the latter days and um, and of course of his day and uh, this is what it says and he gave that is Jesus he gave some apostles some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come in the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfected man unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ and of course that's not going to happen until rapture day and when you know I mean in other words Apostle Paul is saying listen as long as the earth stands there will be prophets here there will be apostles here there will be pastors and teachers and uh, among us until until the the very last day as long as the earth stands okay so so where are they well they're afraid they're afraid of people saying wrong things about them they're afraid you know because because the natural if you read the Bible about Moses the, Moses had the personality of a prophet and and for a long time I was I was like this too you know and God has to perfect his prophets in in the standing order uh, Moses was a very humble person now you're not going to get a humble person to jump up and say look I am this unless God is directly telling him to jump up and say hey you gotta tell people you're this and it took a long time for the Lord to get me to that place where that I would do that and because you know even even though we are even though God has called us to that place we we still don't feel worthy so therefore somebody who is and somebody who is is a humble person unless God directly tells that person to stand up and say it they're probably not gonna they're just because they're afraid of men's opinion well we you know the prophets you have to get over being afraid of man's opinion. Um, our natural sense tells us we have to fit into society. We're social creatures. God made us that way. He wants a family. Family is social creatures. And, you know, when we're separated from family, it hurts. Um, so we want to think about doing things to get ourselves back to that place. Some people just can't ever imagine or think about what if my family didn't exist you know but there's a lot of folks out there who is like no fit they have no family uh, some of them have no hope of ever getting family like uh, people that live on the street and such things like that 
and um, you know if if the Lord would call um, a bank lady for instance I say bank lady because everybody knows what that is it's um, broadcast on TV quite a bit about the popular bank lady I mean if the earth lasts another thousand years there'll be pictures of bag ladies in history books this was a bag lady who no longer exists <laughs> uh, anyways and there will last a, another thousand years but I'm not sure if we'll have history books as I think because Christ being the teacher of that generation I think maybe things will be taught in a little different state than what they are now and yes the liberals hands won't be able to uh, have their fingers on the textbooks of the future in, in the day of Christ. Okay, and one other thing I want to say. Okay, the prophecy about Chelsea Clinton getting saved, and I'm going to put this on my description too, uh, was my speculation. It was a prophecy from me. I heard nothing about God from that. Only in my heart I felt that she was... Um, in order to fulfill that part that it seemed to me like this had to be done okay now if God brings that it'll be just an honor to me only I'm thinking you know because he never said it and I just so I just wanted to get things cleared about about stuff like that so that people won't say hey you said this and it didn't happen whatever but now if if I say something I say if I say thus saith the Lord then then God has said this to me, you know. Thus said the Lord, Hillary Clinton's going to go to jail, that type of thing. And uh, for a lot of those things, like that, I that I don't say, you know, and and it's my speculation, you know. And a, a lot of times now, I just don't understand what the Lord is saying, like with the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger thing that actually took place after the Lord spoke to me, I didn't put it on Facebook, I should, or not Facebook, but YouTube, I, I should have, so that people could see exactly the way that God speaks to me in that, and uh, I had three very important points about that uh, whole thing, but then, anyways, I didn't put it on, so let's not even go there, um, uh, I did tell some people whose only testimony you could hear and verify that with, but um, a lot of things, like, like with Daniel, you know, God's just not, he don't give it to us in perfect detail. Um, I'm sure that he has, like with Moses, he gave detailed things to Moses. And he gave detailed things to Daniel, and he gave detailed things to uh, uh, King David. Uh, especially Isaiah, detailed. And um, who knows, maybe God will do that with me in the future. Okay, so, all right, God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Another great message right here across in the middle ministry.